What's up guys? You're looking at the best, biggest, last generation Nitro Savage you could possibly get. This is the biggest and the fastest out of the Savage lineup that they ever made. This particular one is the last generation Savage XL with the 5.9 big block engine. 5.9 means it's a point. 36 cubic inch way bigger than 0.28 way bigger than the 0.32 this is rated at 3.75 horsepower and a max rpm of about 39,000. this model right here has the largest nitro engine ever installed from the factory into a savage not only does it have the largest nitro motor it's got a three speed guys that's right this thing actually has a three speed automatic transmission only other modern rc i'm aware of having that from the factory was the kyosho mad force but that is a much older design. Right now, you're seeing it in as picked condition. Now, since I am the Nitro Guru, I am not gonna be starting this right now because I do not know the condition of the motor. I haven't even tried to spin the flywheel. I don't even know if it's seized up or not. This is actually the same exact model that Kevin Talbot has, but he's not the Nitro Guru like I am. So right now, let's go home, check out what this thing came with. It's gonna be very interesting, and then we're gonna disassemble the engine, take a look inside, check out the electronics. We're gonna do a whole nine on this car, and hopefully, we're gonna try to start it. It's almost time to open this classic Savage up. I just want to show you guys the box it came in. This is the original box. Now, HPI is known for not only having super good looking, detailed, realistic car bodies, but their box art is incredible. You know, one of the things people look for with video games is how good the box art is later on. And HPI does a really great job with selling you the product right on the box itself. Savage XL. I'm actually looking at the sticker here in the front from the sales date it says this was five hundred eighty nine dollars guys nearly a six hundred dollar ready to run large monster truck I really like the sound of that there's so much stuff here on the front let me go over it in quick detail the first thing they want you to notice is this huge k 5.9 engine this is a 0.36 displacement at 3.75 horsepower this is probably the largest displacement and most horsepower I've ever seen in a ready-to-run motor this is insane the other variant of this truck let me tell you now was the octane model which came with a 15 cc gas engine this is not the octane but I would have loved to have that this is the regular nitro version nothing wrong with that you got to keep nitro alive one way or another the Savage X 4.6 did not have this feature the three-speed transmission and guess what you could also install an optional reverse module this one does not have reverse but for I think about 50 bucks you can get a whole electronic reverse module system and this thing will be good to go chassis shown actual size this is not one of those serial commercials where they show you texture and large to show actual size no this right here is the freaking actual size on the back of the box they continue with all of the cool features that this model has you have a rechargeable receiver battery pack i'm sure it's going to be dead in this one i've already got one on order you have a steel spur gear all metal parts of course once again the engine it is a roto start model i don't think the roto start is here but it's the same system they use with every other hpi i'm not too particularly worried about that the Savage XL also has the similar chassis as the Savage X. Basically, it's a regular twin vertical plate, three millimeter chassis. This one just happens to be exactly two inches longer. Before I open this up, let me tell you, I paid exactly a hundred bucks for everything you see here. The owner gave me one and a half gallons of his nitro fuel. I've actually never heard this fuel. This is Maxi's 25% nitro fuel. Um, don't know how much it was, but we're gonna disassemble the cooling head, take a look inside the motor, and see if it actually prevented any rust or if anything is pretty much a disaster or not. And let me say thanks again so much to the owner, really cool guy, and my friend Joe Camp for hooking me up with this deal. Now let's get this box open. First box opening, this is like RC Nitro Christmas right here, but the secular version of it with nitro trucks. Oh yeah, here it is guys, man. Let me see if they actually meant it's as big as the box says it is. So this is the truck, this is the box. Man, it's actually not a lie, I am surprised. All right, let's see what we get inside here. Here is our remote. You know, you gotta build suspense, take the remote out first. This is the factory remote that it came with, the TF20U, which really is nothing exciting. It's a basic 2.4 gigahertz unit. It has six AA batteries. It should work just fine. As long as the antenna's not broken, it's fine. I'll be content with it. Actually, let me power it on. Oh, the LED goes on. That's a good sign. All right. 
Remote lives don't matter. Nitro truck lives matter. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. It's going out. It's going out. Here it is. There's a couple extra parts in here. Let me go over this in a minute. These are what HPI calls Terrapin tires. Now I'm turning them right now. They seem uh, a little bit on the crooked side. Hopefully, maybe when the suspension is weighted down, it'll be okay, but a test run will tell us. The engine has some scoring here on top. The body seems to be okay. One of the main things I look for when I get a RC is to see what kind of body pins are on the truck. And these are really, really huge ones. But what I'm trying to say is, you see these little zip ties? This is a trick that RC guys do to make this stuff easier. This is just a good sign that this thing is probably well taken care of. I already like the way this looks. Oh, these body pins don't want to come out here. Probably too thick for these body posts. Let's see what else was included in the box. This is a classic HPI. I used to always do this. I think Traxxas did years ago too. In all of their new RCs, they used to include a disc. I actually watched one of these years ago. I don't remember which RC it was. This says HPI RC cars, DVD 6, uh, tutorials and action footage. Really, really cool. Who knows, maybe years from now it's going to be collectible. This is brand new, unopened. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that could even play this because Macs today, unless you get the Big Daddy Mac version, don't even have disc players. But here it is, it's included nice. You have a couple opened part sets. So uh, this means this thing has probably broken a couple parts on it already. This right here is an aluminum handle, not from this model. The owner is probably trying to fit this, but it doesn't fit because this is not from this uh, model style Savage. Here we have some extra parts. I'm not gonna go over this right now, blah, blah, blah. We have a bumper set. We have a new motor saver air filter. So these are, I would say the best filters you can get, the Motor Saver air filters. When you got a T-Max or a Revo years ago, you also got a Motor Saver air filter. I know you Nitro guys out there know exactly what I'm talking about. We have one suspension arm. Um, you don't wanna ever really see one suspension arm because that means the other one is already on the truck. But that's neither good or bad. I only paid a hundred bucks for this. Let's dive into the truck itself open the engine, see what it looks like. $600 truck from probably more than five years ago. These things first came out in 2013. I just wanted to remove the body, have a look inside. Okay, so it looks like this model has a wired lighting system. This is probably one of those uh, eBay, Amazon specials because there seems to be a whole bunch of LEDs all over this. There are four here in the front. There's some here in the back and one's on top of this, uh, I guess you call this the cab over here on top. Let me just uh, leave it for now. The chassis itself, have a look at it. Looks okay. You know what? It's not bad at all. There's a fuel filter, a very good sign. I'm gonna wash this off camera. Um, the electronics, let me put them on and test it out. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna power this on and power on the car. Okay. Well, they work. Here we go with the lights. Oh, there's a lot of wiring going on here. Just check this out. So when I, you see this? When I give it throttle all the way, the lights go on in the front. Probably has turn signals too. Yep, turn signals work. This is one of those, I guess you could call this like some kind of intelligent lighting systems. I personally don't care about it. It's just a battery drain. I noticed something cool here on the side. Check this out guys, this is an optional battery life indicator sold by HPI. So this tells us uh, in colors, you know, red, yellow, green, how full the battery pack is. When I'm applying throttle, you could tell the LED is losing a little bit of juice. So uh, I actually already have one that I ordered. This is a brand new one from Amazon. It was about 15 bucks, direct replacement to this receiver battery pack. So I'm gonna be using this eventually because um, the lights are an extra drain on the system, plus it's an old pack, but it's good to see that it actually still works. I've honestly always hated the on-off switch on all of the Savages. It's right here on top, you know, when you have your body on, it is not very easy to reach in here, you know, it's like a hot exhaust on the other side, you gotta reach in. Um, 
pretty much a bad design in my opinion. I don't know why they couldn't have put it somewhere here under this uh, chassis plate or on the bottom of this receiver box, just like the HPI Baja has it. But hey, that's what it is. Over here on the side, this is the external charge port to the included battery pack. Um, so it's pretty convenient. You never have to remove the battery pack from here. You're just pretty much good to go. Here's a good look at the chassis. This is the extended version, as I said. All the Savage X models, including the XL, have this X in the chassis. This is basically uh, the nameplate and what's significant about this whole entire series. Does it do anything? No, but it does look cool, you gotta agree. On the bottom here it says, 3mm Savage TVT chassis. Unless I'm mistaken, they're all 3mm. I don't know why they went out of their way to make sure we know it's 3mm. It's pretty much always 3mm, and honestly, that isn't even that much. So, you're asking yourself, uh, where is it actually extended? Well, in the back right over here, if I show you guys in this view, do you notice this uh, blank empty space right over here? Yep, this is basically where the chassis is extended. You have an extra two inches of you know chassis length here so basically this is what makes the savage xl xl you have a bunch of uh, open space here in the back now of course i'm oversimplifying it it isn't that easy but actually it is it's just a freaking bunch of two inches here in the back that's all there is to it suspension wise this is a classic savage very very plush suspension you see what i'm talking about this thing is meant to take jumps and come back asking for more right away. Um, and it does that. You have the same dual shocks that almost all the Savages did. Now surprisingly enough, the Octane, which is the gas version of this truck, only had one shock on each axle. I'm not quite sure why, but uh, I always like to have two shocks. Honestly, you don't need them. You see this? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Another great feature of the Savage is the easiness of taking out the fuel tank. There's only two body clips here for the fuel tank. And check this out, guys. I could literally remove, here's one body clip. I'm gonna remove the other body clip. And the fuel tank literally just comes out like this. Really easy to clean, really easy to surface. There is some uh, little bit of a green sludge on the bottom of the tank. I'm gonna go wash it and install it back. All right, guys, I'm going to cut this video short right here. I'm going to call this part one. Don't worry, there will be a part two. I got to go to work right now. I don't have all day to be making videos for you guys. You know, once I stop having fun, you're going to stop having fun. You're going to stop watching. So you got to make sure I go to work, have fun. I'm spending a lot of my damn money buying RCs for you guys. But you know what? There's still a surprise in this video. This is an original video that the owner of this truck took back in 2013. A really nice beach bash with an HBI Trophy Truggy at that time. Check this out. I bet you thought this video was over. Well, here's a surprise for you. Make sure you watch all my videos to the end because I'm gonna do a giveaway. A giveaway of a pop quiz. What car is this? Yep, that's the kind of giveaway I do, guys. What car is this? Put in the comments. I'm curious to see if any of you know. In part two of this video series, we'll check out the condition of the engine by removing the coolant head and then we'll start her up.